Hi there everyone. Uh, this is the video for the Journey to Health collab week nine and the question is what do you love about yourself? And um, I was watching somebody else's video in there. They're like what's the narcissistic answer? And it really does kind of make you feel like that if you say aloud things that you love about yourself that you are conceited or narcissistic but I think that um, I think there's a really big difference between I'm just gonna close the window here a little bit so it's not as loud when cars go by I think that there's a really big difference between being confident in yourself and self-aware self-worth self-love self-esteem all of those terms you can have those genuine true feelings about yourself and have it not be a bad thing and so the things that I love about myself, um, there was a couple things that I thought of. I love the fact that I am inquisitive. So if there's something that I want to learn how to do, I figure it out. And you know, in this day and age with Pinterest and the internet and everything, it's really easy to learn basically anything you want to learn how to do. Um, I've taught myself how to crochet, how to knit, um, how to make bread, how to, um, use all different sorts of computer software like I mentioned before with the the Adobe suite and um, the the video editing software that I use um, it's called uh, move a V from tired to trained has a coupon code for it so you should um, check his channel out for that coupon code I taught myself how to use a vinyl cutter and got a professional vinyl cutter and had a vinyl cutting business um, and taught myself how to use a miter saw and a router and all of those woodworking tools to make wooden signs with vinyl lettering and yeah everything anything that I have uh, as a hobby I've figured out how to do and um, the other thing that I love about myself is a long time ago I learned how to just accept compliments and I know that sounds a little bit funny but I think that naturally if someone is offering a compliment to us our natural inclination is to just kind of like brush it off or give a reason of justification why it wasn't deserved like if someone says I really like your hair today they'll be like oh oh yeah but and then something else that detracts from the compliment that's been given and I read an article that addressed that and talked about just accepting it and just saying thank you and just leaving it at that and ever since I read that years ago I have made a practice of doing that and it just I don't know it just makes you feel better and I think it makes it less uncomfortable for the person that's offering the compliment maybe sometimes because if you're detracting from what they've offered as a compliment to you then it can kind of be like in the thanks but no thanks spirit of things so those are just a couple of things that I thought about it is easier of course to think about things that you love about yourself when you're in a happier place and I know that I haven't always been there um, there's been lots of ups and downs and I'm grateful that I'm currently back on an upward slope I was having a pretty rough time and uh, was struggling quite a bit so I do recognize that it's harder to love yourself when you're in that depressive state so I just want to say that if there are those that are out there that are currently in that state know that you do have value you are of worth you are loved and just keep trying to get back from that low back up to a bit of a higher place emotionally and mentally it can be done it's difficult but uh, yeah just see if you can can get back there to that place of happiness and self-content and so that is the answer for my question for today and um, I will be back with an update video and I have a few more things up my sleeve. I did receive a package which was a prize from a giveaway. 
So I will be doing an unboxing video. So look forward to that as well as uh, my next giveaway. I'm going to be doing um, once I reach the 250 subscriber mark. So keep watching for that. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I definitely appreciate having you guys here supporting me on this journey through the ups and downs of trying to lose 100 pounds. And you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.